by explaining the concept of Raj in Hindustani classical music. Every rag has a set number of notes, and each note has an individual character. Let's equate each note with a color on a canvas. The timing and the placement of these notes influence the mood and emotion, thus creating a unique canvas each time. Today, I'd like to share my canvas and my journey with all of you. I'm Sana Mahmoudi, a singer, songwriter, and a computer engineer. My musical journey began at a very young age. My mother introduced me to Karnataka classical music at the age of five. When I turned eight, I did my first stage performance. And a year after that, I started performing professionally with orchestral troops. I still remember the excitement that I felt when I received my first payment of rupees 250. My childhood was a bit unusual, while my years were enjoying without restraint. I always balanced my studies with my music. Needless to say, I made very few friends. But I would lose track of time listening to songs by Mr. A. R. Rahman, Lataji, Ashaji, and also watching a lot of Malayalam movies every day after school. Carl Jung once asked, What is it that you did as a child that made the hours pass like minutes? Here lies the secret to your early pursuits. Little did I know that these early passions would make their way back into my life and it would be integral to where I stand today. This was my first stroke on my musical canvas. I continued learning Karnataka classical music for six years and I switched to Hindustani classical music. By the time I finished my 10th grade, I had done 40 shows and over 850 stage performances. But I never even really thought of taking up music as a career. Instead, I convinced myself to settle for the classic combo one engineering degree, one large MBA, and probably a small portion of music on the side. This led me to St. Francis Institute of Technology. During my first year at SFIM, there was a talent hunt held in the campus. I sang one of my favorite songs, Kehna Nitya, from Bombay, which caught the attention of one of the judges who was working on a Red Chili film production. He offered me a song in the film, which marked my debut as a playback singer in the world of Bollywood. Always Kabhi Kabhi was my first playback song. But my journey was far too straightforward. I had a lot of doubts. Is it wise to take up music as a career? Without a family background in the industry, how would I survive? But something within me made me take a leap of faith. It was time to paint the painting with the colors of my heart. After engineering, I got the opportunity to be an opening act to various artists, which gave me the chance to travel across the country and abroad. I also got the opportunity to collaborate with the musical duo Vishal and Shekhar in the film Kundi Tere Kyaari. But something made me feel that I need to establish a family journey. I wanted an outlet to express myself independently and build a dedicated audience. This pushed me to explore YouTube as a platform. I posted my first video, which was shot on a living terrace, the simple 12 megapixel camera. The subscribers and the number of views pushed me to explore further. But what happened 
after this is what changed everything for me. I must have the courage to share my work with the legendary A.R. Rahman. One day, and to my astonishment, you brother, though you were the biggest sense of inspiration, getting to meet him had always looked like a far-fetched reality. And here I was, standing in the studio, recording the film Mohanjadaro. Meeting him and working with him had sparked a metamorphosis within me. I also had a moment of realization. I realized I had a long, long way to go. In 2016, my journey on YouTube took an interesting turn. I had only been posting Hindi songs, but the decision to post a Malayalam song, which was a very cherished part of my childhood, triggered a substantial shift. My viewership exploded and my subscribers increased from 15,000 to 75,000 in a very short time. This taught me the importance to listen and follow my instincts as an artist. In 2017, I recorded the song Appealing for the musical duo Sachin Jaya in the film Meri Yari Banu, for which I also won my first award as the upcoming female singing sensation at Asia Mission Awards. I had the privilege of working with Mr. A.R. Rahman on MTV Unplugged Season 6. And I started traveling with my own band from Chennai. Things were exciting, but not that easy. I had to face quite a few rejections. I remember recording songs or movies that wouldn't make it to the final version. But this never stopped me from putting in the work. Meeting my Guruji, Mr. Sunil Bhogra, changed my life. I also started embracing my imperfections as an artist because these flaws bring character to your art and to your work. In 2019, I posted a rendition of an old Malayalam song called Kantapen. I was criticized by my primary audience for the modern look and sound. But what happened next surprised me. The song went viral with an entirely new set of listeners from Tamil Nadu and Sri Lanka. It touched 10 million views within a month. And today it is at 41 million views, making it the most viewed video on my channel. I learned something from these experiences by pushing myself to these different countries. It is important to respect the timing of your life. Certain lessons are only understood in retrospect. It's important to continue painting your canvas. Which brings me to my favorite quote by Bruce Lee. There are no limits. There are only plateaus. And you must not stay there. You must go beyond them. During the pandemic, every artist had a tough time. Recording studios were shut. There was no access to the outside world to shoot YouTube videos, and there were no meets. It was as if time had frozen. But in this stillness, I found a sort of freedom. I realized this was the perfect time to hold my skills. I started learning video editing, and I started exploring music production. I also understood the power of DIY techniques as I learned to record myself by using blankets to soundproof my room. I literally recorded songs for films out of my bedroom. By the end of the pandemic, I signed a deal with Sony for Tamil Pop Originals. In 2022, I released my first Tamil Original which marked the beginning of my journey as a songwriter. In September 2022, I once again sang for Mr. A.R. Rahman in the magnum focus, Ponyan Selvi. But the YouTube algorithm 
is shifting and changing drastically. Instagram Reels have become a game changer. That's one instance I would like to share with all of you. In January 2023, I happened to post a rendition of a cover song on my YouTube channel. The song went viral on Instagram eight months later, with over one lakh people making reels on and tagging me. I used to open my Instagram with hundreds of notifications each day. I realized that it is important to not follow trends blindly. Try and create something timeless, even if the dynamics keep changing. As I look back on my journey, I feel really grateful for the opportunity to sing beautiful songs for significant banners, to connect across varying audiences, and to get an outlet to express myself independently through renditions and original music. My YouTube channel has crossed over 1.5 million views and has over 8.6 lakh subscribers. These numbers make me happy. But the true reward is the appreciation and love I get each day as an artist. Milestones and numbers matter. But what really matters is the passion you feel and the goosebumps you get when you work on something that you really love. As I come to the end of this talk, I would like to share a few lessons that I learned in this journey. Skill has competition, but why does it? While it is important to work on your skill to achieve excellence, do not forget to build a vibe. To create a style that you can call your own. Second, creativity is not one dimensional. You can use multiple ways and multiple art forms to express yourself. And finally, though there is a method to the madness, there are no fixed rules and no fixed formulas in the ever-evolving masterpiece of your life's canvas. Thank you.